In this video, we'll take a look at how you can customize data in Device 42. The first option we'll talk about is how to automate this from a discovery. If we go into one of the jobs, in this case an SMP job, you'll see as we scroll down, we have the option to add a service number. So you can set a device in production, uh, in test, you can also go in here and add a plus sign to add your own value. You can do the same thing for customer. You can also apply a category. An object category for device is usually a way that you can define a location and maybe a domain um, for that particular record or the type of device, maybe network or storage. Lastly, there's tagging. Tagging is nice because you could do a comma separate and add multiple tags to a single record on a discovery job. If I scroll down to network options, because this is SNMP and this is how we can collect data on network gear that's on, on the network, we can go in here and we can tag things with a VRF. So any subnet or IP address is gonna get grouped to this VRF. And simply this allows for overlapping ranges in device 42. You also have the option to add a category to all your subnets, which is also helpful for grouping, very similar to object category. All the other discovery jobs are gonna have very similar options. So as you go through and navigate to any of the jobs, you'll see that there's ways that you can define these same attributes to the, any of the devices that are detected from that scheme. What we'll do now is we'll go into the UI and we'll go to a list page of all, all your devices. On any of the CIs that you have in the system or that you're looking in the system, you'll have an action drop-down window. And right from this window, you can select you know, multiple devices, and go in here and set a category or change the, to add a customer or add tagging to any of the devices or records in the system. You can also go to import export, which is a way that you can do this through a spreadsheet import. You can simply download a sample sheet or download data that's existing in the system and then using columns like tags or object category, you can upload a value and then upload, upload that into the system right into the same section. Lastly, for any data that you want to document that's outside of the fields that we were just looking at, you can do this through custom fields. You'll see custom fields can be applied to just about any CI in the system. In this case, we'll walk through an example of adding one to a device. We'll add a device custom field. We'll give it a name of project. We can choose whether we want this to be a text value, numeric, a date value, or if, even if we want this related to another object, which makes it very powerful. In this case, we could choose a pick list. We can make it filterable. We can also go in here and say project one, project two, and save this. Now, when you go to any of your devices, you can simply click on any record. And just by going into the edit mode, you'll see I can go right into a device and I can select project one, and save this. And because we made that custom field filterable, I can now see it on the sidebar here, filter by project one, and any device or any record that's associated with Project One is going to is going to be filtered in this in this view. Well, that concludes this video, and I'd like to thank you for listening.